The HBO series The Gilded Age, Season 2 Episode 4, His Grace the Duke, at last features some British blue blood. Bertha Russell is overjoyed when the Duke of Buckingham shows up in town. The social climber who is everyone's favorite undermines rival Mrs. Winterton's efforts to be seated close to the Duke during dinner, choosing instead to smuggle herself and Gladys, her daughter, into his inner circle. Fans of the Gilded Age may be enthralled with the Duke's presence, but caution is warranted. That is, of course, assuming Julian Fellows, the man responsible for creating the Gilded Age, follows tradition and weds Gladys to the Duke. History buffs will be aware that in the 1870s and 1880s, English nobility flocked to New York City in quest of affluent New Money Harrises to marry, as they were unable to maintain their dilapidated estates due to the global development of industry over agriculture. The men were successful in maintaining the British nobility well into the 20th century, and the ladies who stole these noblemen were dubbed buccaneers. This custom gave rise to American Lady Cora in Downton Abbey and allowed Winston Churchill to determine his mother's ancestry from Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. But the most notorious union of American wealth and British aristocracy occurred when social at Consulo Vanderbilt married the 9th Duke of Marlborough in 1895. The previous evening, the bride had to be restrained in her rooms to prevent her from fleeing, and her tears had to be wiped away. The union was doomed to fail and was eventually dissolved. Fans have long been concerned that poor, innocent Gladys may suffer the same fate as Consulo, because Bertha Russell has been positioned as the Gilded Age's replacement for the tyrannical and ambitious Alba Vanderbilt, Aka, Consulo's domineering mother. These theories seem to be supported by Ben Lamb's appearance as the Duke of Buckingham in the Gilded Age Season 2 Episode 4, as well as Bertha's drive to Lincoln with Gladys. Therefore, is Gladys destined to wed the youthful, attractive Duke of Buckingham? Will her reluctance to walk down the aisle resemble that of the real Consuelo Vanderbilt? Is the Duke of Buckingham a genuine individual? What lovers of the Gilded Age should note is this. Will Gladys Russell and Consuelo Vanderbilt meet the same men if they are, in fact, inspired by each other? Sanja Warfield, the executive producer of Gilded Age, revealed how closely Gladys's story will resemble Consuelo Vanderbilt's. She acknowledged that there will undoubtedly be parallels but also, and maybe more importantly, differences. Warfield remarked, well, I mean, Julian is really inspired by that story as he was inspired by the Vanderbilt story for the origins of the Metropolitan Opera House and all of that, making reference to Bertha's portrayal of Alva Vanderbilt in HBO's The Gilded Age as the main supporter of the new opera house, The Met. There will undoubtedly be differences and will exercise artistic license. Subsequently, Warfield said, I mean, marrying into royalty is the biggest ascension right into society. Come on, Bertha will pursue that through to the very conclusion regardless of Gladys' wishes. The Duke of Buckingham is who? And is he one of the numerous real-life characters who have found their way into HBO's miniseries, The Gilded Age? The Duke of Buckingham was not one of the many European and British nobility who mingled with American New Money families in the 1870s, 1880s, and 1890s. The youthful, attractive Duke that Ben Lamb constructed is a made-up figure for The Gilded Age. Thus, is the title of Duke of Buckingham legitimate? Indeed it was. Throughout English history, the title of Duke of Buckingham was used intermittently. George Villiers was arguably the most well-known Duke of Buckingham, 1592-1628. He was the English monarch James I's favorite, which means he was the king's love interest. Keep an eye out for Star's 2024 series Mary and George, which will tell the tale of George Villiers, Nicholas Galitzine, and his mother Mary, Julianne Moore. None of the three Dukes of Buckingham and Chados that existed in the 19th century matched the profile of the Duke that we meet in the Gilded Age. He is therefore a work of fiction. Ben Lamb, who portrayed another British noble in Stars the White Queen and is most known for playing the title Prince in Netflix's The Christmas Prince films, plays the Duke of Buckingham during the Gilded Age.